Sambad is excited to announce a one of its kind four part public series on child forensics in child sexual abuse cases forensics oh dna analysis blood spatter studies firearm examinations right no actually there's more to child forensics than that especially in the context of child sexual abuse cases in fact central to child forensics is how we interview children about their sexual abuse experiences usually because usually there are only two witnesses in cases of child sexual abuse the perpetrator and the child and the information elicited from children becomes critical to proving the offense in the court i've lost count of the number of times i have been to court as an expert witness perhaps to represent 50 or 60 children and i can tell you it doesn't get any easier so if it doesn't get any easier for those of us who work with these systems how is a young child to stand in front of strangers and discuss an exceedingly difficult and traumatic situation when a child is sexually abused especially by a known person would she or he be willing to disclose that to in an unknown unfamiliar public space such as the courtroom so what happens when a child is faced with complex courtroom language accusations about their character their sexual history what about when the medical evidence is inconclusive how will the court elicit information from 4 to 5 year olds when a child witness provides his or her statement in court how do we know whether she or he is really telling the truth do we look for consistency do we look for corroboration um could there have been any tutoring or suggestibility how do we know these things how can we tell With an experience of about 25 years of working with child witnesses, Dr. Karen Mueller and Karen Hollily from Child Witness Institute are going to answer some of these questions for us and they are going to take us through the nuances of working with child sexual abuse cases, helping us understand how to prioritize a child's mental well-being as they testify in an adversarial and adult courtroom. So if you're a mental health professional, doctor, social worker, educator, judicial officer or anyone who's working with child witness or a victim of child sexual abuse, come join us and learn how we can best support witnesses in cases of child sexual abuse. Join us on our YouTube live on 15th, 17th, 22nd and 24th March from 6:30 p.m. to 8 p.m. Indian Standard Time.